Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to unbox the Redmi S2. Now the box is no longer in red color, but it comes in the orange color. You can see it's a global version. At the back, it's a 16 megapixel AI power front camera and 12 plus 5 megapixel AI power dual camera, 5.99 inch screen, and Snapdragon 625 processor. You can see it's a gold color in 3GB and 32GB ROM. Now let's unbox it. Once we open the box, we can see a white color Redmi S2. So let's take out the phone and put it aside. And we got another box here. Let's open it. So in this box, we can see a user manual. And we get another soft casing, the TPU soft casing. This is kind of like what Xiaomi has been doing. It provides this soft casing. It's really flexible and really soft. And then we got the USB cable. And then same disappointing, we have a micro USB cable here. This is really, really disappointing as Xiaomi Redmi series is still not using USB Type-C. And then we have the power adapter. Let's check out the output power. It has 5 volt to end output. So this is not a quick charge 2.0 adapter. And now let's check out the phone. Let me turn on the phone. And the phone is started to boot up. So let me take off the protective film. And move to the back. There is another film with some information and IMEI numbers. Take it off. The phone is coming with MIUI 9. Hopefully, we can get to update to MIUI 10 very soon. Let's try out the TPU soft case. It fits very good. All the cutouts are in the place. And we can see on top, there is a earphone jack, IR blaster and microphone. On the left, the volume button and the power button. On the bottom, the microphone, micro USB port, and speaker. And the card slot. Now let's check out the camera flash. It is not a dual tone flash, but it has a 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel cameras. And the fingerprint scanner at the back, and the mini logo at the bottom. So let's take off the TPU soft case and take a close look at the antenna here. It is a full plastic body with the antenna exposing at the back. It is not like the Redmi Note 5 which have the plastic cover at the back. I mean some tiny part on the antenna. Like this, this is a black light of antenna that exposed outside of the casing. This plastic body looks a lot like metal. But anyway, it is just a plastic. I feel a lot like the phone is empty, maybe it's because of the smaller battery. Finally, we get the Redmi series support two SIM cards at the same time together with another micro SD card as well. As we can see, that is a dedicated micro SD card slot and two SIM card slots. Now we put side by side the Redmi 5 Plus, Redmi Note 5, Redmi S2. They look kind of similar from the back, but let's compare the Redmi 5 Plus and Redmi S2. We can see the big difference is the single camera and the dual camera. And here we can see the Redmi 5 Plus support the dual tone flash, compared with the S2 single tone flash. And the antenna design is different now. It is now on top of the plastic cover. I don't get it why since the entire body is plastic, why they have to put it outside. But on the top, we can see both having the earphone jack at the top. 
but the arrangement of the IR blaster and the microphone is slightly different from each another. On the slide, the buttons also slightly different arrangement. At the bottom, that looks almost the same, the speakers, USB port and secondary microphone. But what about the card slot? The design looks different now. Now the Redmi S2, the hole is on the body instead of the card slot. Then we put side by side, the screen size is exactly the same. If you're not familiar with the Redmi series, it's difficult to tell which one is Redmi S2. And now let's compare the Redmi S2 with the Redmi Note 5. Now the screen resolution is different from each another. The Redmi S2 only has 720p screen resolution while the Redmi Note 5 has 1080p screen resolution. But then if I put them side by side, could you tell which one has better screen resolution? Maybe you have to bring the screen really close then only you can notice the screen resolution different. And now let's flip the phone to the back, then we can see the camera design are the same except the dual tone camera flash and the specification of the sensor and aperture is different from each another. On top of the phone, we can see the major difference is the earphone jack on the S2. And the bottom, we can see the earphone jack of the Note 5. And now let's take a quick test on the camera. We open the camera app and we take a normal setting. Then we switch to portrait mode for the dual camera. For the portrait mode, it will blur out the background. Let's check out the result here. We can see the background is kind of blur. It's not bad. The edge of the main object is quite sharp. But then this is the normal mode. Now this is the result of the normal shooting mode. We can still see the background is quite clear. Then the portrait mode, we can see the background is blur. Now let's check out the selfie camera function. This Redmi S2 have the same function that you can get on Redmi Note 5. It comes with the front facing LED torch. It also has the HDR mode, which will take out the details of the background. Then we have the depth effect which will build out the background. And it also has the beautify mode. And we can adjust the lighting. Now let's try out the depth effect selfie mode. Now let's check the result. Now we can see the background is being blurred out, but at the same time, it still maintains the details on my face, especially the hair. So this is a depth effect of selfie mode. The background and the foreground has been blurred out. As you can see, the details on my face are still being maintained. And now let's switch to the video mode, and we still get to use the front facing LED torch. So while we are doing recording, we can still get the enough lighting on our face. Aside from that, we can still choose the focus and exposure points while we are recording. As we all know, Xiaomi has been selling out the Redmi S2 as a selfie camera smartphone. So let's check out the selfie photo from the Redmi S2. On the default mode, we can see that the background is overexposed. So when I turn on the front facing LED torch, we can see the details on my face and also slightly more detail on the background. When I turn on the HDR mode, we can see that it's more details from the background, but then I cannot turn on the LED at the same time. As of the depth effect, it's doing a really good job. The background is being blurred out, but the details of the edge on my ear, my neck, my shoulder are still being maintained. 
Now we compare the front facing camera with the Redmi Note 5. As Xiaomi has stated that the Redmi S2 has better front facing camera because it's using the 4 in 1 combination camera sensor to produce better image in low light. As we can see, the colors is much vivid on the Redmi S2 compared with the Redmi Note 5, but the image noise produced on both cameras are about the same. And I get more image noise on the Redmi S2 when I'm shooting a selfie in a very low light condition with beautified mode turned on to volume 3. So I don't see the better result for the 4-in-1 camera sensor combination on the Redmi S2. I still get a lot of noises on my selfie photos. Just like the Redmi Note 5, the enhanced low light photo automatically is being turned on by default. Now let's turn it off and let's take a picture. As expected, we get a lot of noises on the photos that we shoot in low light. And I turn on the enhanced low light photos automatically on and take another picture. We can see the amount of noises is being reduced significantly. And we also have another function which is turning on the HST mode, which is saying in low light, camera will take multiple photos and then create a shot with a minimal amount of noises. By checking on the outcome, I don't see the difference between the enhanced low light mode and the HST mode. When I put the photos side by side, we can see there are a lot of noises on the top image, but on the second and the third one, they look about the same. Now let's compare the photo with the HDR mode off and on. The current image is the default setting uh, with the HDR mode off. We can see there are some details on the houses, also some details on the sky. But then when we turn on the HDR mode, we get a lot of details on the skies, but then we're also losing a lot of details on the building below. Here is another image with HDR mode off. And we turn on the HDR, we can see a lot of details on the sky, but losing a lot of detail on the houses. Now this is a back camera with HDR mode off. When I turn on the HDR, I get a lot of details on the sky and the details on my face is still being maintained. I guess it worked different when you have something close enough for shooting compared with the landscape that I have shown earlier. Here is the dual camera's portrait mode, it's doing a really good job by blurring out the background but still maintain the edge of my body and head. And as of the video, I think it is doing okay with the dynamic range of light. And recording a video at night, I think the result is acceptable. Consider this phone is only costing less than 800 Malaysian ringgit. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.